hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the uh, what is new in camera raw in 13.3 and in this june uh, you are getting uh, this type of updates in camera raw and which is very helpful and what are the new things in this camera raw filter let's see if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification if I open up an image in the camera raw filter or camera raw filter or raw filter whatever it is you will get the new interface or new look of the camera raw filter in the right side you are getting all the tools over there you can make it like full screen mode you can go to the settings options and you can make this one a responsive single or the multi one and some assumption will appear and some settings will appear you can customize those things and here you can make it uh, like uh, the custom settings that is the file extension dng file or uh, like a psd file that means when uh, you are doing something work over there that means in camera raw filter you can save that all the settings and you can export that settings that is the download button and convert to save image or you can use that save settings into future or other images so here some uh, information appearing in this portion that means the iso 185 mm uh, f 7.1 and uh, the shutter speed 1 by 125 seconds and here is the auto mode and here is the black and white mode and here is the edit options and after that profile adobe color or you can choose the color from here like other stuffs the portrait color okay fine if i give the portrait color adobe portrait and adobe vivid options and standard options all the things are synchronized or you can search over there you can uh, look the interfaces and you can uh, adobe raw choose you can the preset use the preset from here and lots of versatile things you are getting over here in this new version when you are uh, using any kind of settings in this portion you will get the white dot beside these uh, or those uh, settings and which is uh, representing that things you are using some settings in this menu so here the basic options the curves options here is something the adjustment and you can adjust like this manually and rgb that means this one is the rgb this one is the red this one is the green and this one is the blue and one most important thing is that if you press the red you are getting the uh, values the color values if you take this one into upper side you will get the red color and if you get the downside this one you are getting the green color that means here you, ca you can watch the full scenario of the, the tone curve those uh, who are didn't use the curves for the confusion which color you will take and which color will be version you are getting this one too much easier that means in the top portion you are getting the red in a red um, options or red um, tone curve and the lower side you are getting the green if i go to the green you are getting the green in upper side and the magenta in a lower side and blue you are getting the blue over there in the upper side and uh, yellow in a low side or down side suppose you want to take this one you will get more yellow over there this one is most important for the new users of the photoshop and uh, the photographers those who are using the photoshop newly and the detail option you are getting something new the sharpening noise reduction and the color noise if you want to make those things more then you can just click this arrow key and you can uh, use the sub settings over there or otherwise you can use that things uh, uh, normally or usually if you press over there noise reduction under the noise reduction you can edit all the steps so here are some the compact version and which is really modern and cool the color mixer and uh, you are getting over here the colors which color you want to pick up and separately from uh, here suppose you want to use a red you want to use the orange yellow and uh, green and the blue purple and magenta so if you use any color suppose in a magenta you are getting three things hue saturation and luminance hue which color you want to use and saturation how many color that means the percentage of the color and luminance 
intensity of the color you can use or you can go to the hsl option that means the traditional options the hue all hue colors over there all saturations over there and all luminance over there now if you press all you are getting all the stuffs so similar to the lightroom but this one pretty good and modern i do love to use that things which is uh, similar to the lightroom you don't have to learn uh, different things if you learn the lightroom you can use this one that means the camera row and uh, similar this one and the split toning same things the highlight tone and the shadow tone you are getting over there and the optics this one is the amazing features do correction of the camera uh, lens correction actually so manually if you, you can do that you can do like this in a camera in a correction or lens correction these two things just separated from uh, the main menu and the effects you can add grain or you can delete the grain and the vignetting as well if you press over here how many grain you want to give the size of the grain and the roughness of the grain or percentage and in this portion in a vignetting options you are getting color portray or like a overlay paint overlay whatever it is you can control the vignetting from here if you need actually the calibration same things three primary colors over there and uh, which is really similar to the lightroom actually and new features over there uh, if i collapse this one actually this one as well so in a brush you are getting the brush pretty good brush and you can make the anchor point over there you can erase over there if you need you have the plus button separately you can uh, add any kind of brushes new brushes actually and then the gradient you can use the gradient like this so if you need actually those are pretty good and uh, like organized and here the panel which is the radial filter if you need you can change the radial or uh, radial filter you can use that and here some thing you can take the snapshot over here that means you can uh, take all the snapshot in once and here the user menu that is the preset options if you have the preset you can use the those preset from you here and user preset actually i use the user preset over here and here some uh, load settings options that means the that things which is the small menu but uh, in this portion you are getting the similar to that and uh, load settings that means you can import the xmp files and save the settings that means uh, when you are uh, giving some settings over there you can just save those things and uh, set the raw default uh, that means you can set it default and export settings from the xmp that means you can export that settings if you want to get the download link of the camera raw you can download easily from the adobe website that means main website or you can check out my video description for the download link and this one is totally free of the uh, free buys from the adobe and this one is amazing i'm cancelling this one i can open up this one i just edited this photo totally in this camera row that means if i turn it on in the before before one was like that and after adding the camera and other stuffs i just got these things but in the middle of the editing i just left this one just because of i want to show you the things uh, how versatile this one i'm going to the filter again and camera filter again and in this portion if i go to the basic portion i'm just adding some uh, like contrast highlight will be down and desaturated vignetting will be like that and the exposure is like that dehaze will be like this and the texture i'll add texture and clarity i'll make the down clarity so before and after before and after and now i want to add some split toning it will uh, give this one totally uh, like amazing and basing turning of the basic options and the split toning option i'll add some highlight tone over here and the shadow tone if i add some shadow tone okay that's fine before and after huge change and hit the ok button the main image this one was the main image and after adding uh, or deleting the spot healing brush or you know, like from the camera spot uh, removal you can uh, delete the spot and 
this one final result and in the next episode i'll show you how to edit this type of photo in camera filter and today um, the episode is ending hope that you learn a lot from this video and get the more information about the new camera raw uh, 13.3 hope that you'd like to this video and share with your friends until the next video i am here signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye